coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Raging Al Iaquinta and Rafael Dos Anjos. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Dos Anjos, three years his senior. Iaquinta. Well, a lot of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us tonight as we get on the way from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Good right hook. Oh, nice body shot. Dos Santos gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, he got hurt. was wide open, his opponent took advantage, kicked to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh, man. And now is where things could get really interesting. He gets the arm out of the neck. He's looking for the guillotine. And he's out of the guillotine. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Dos Anjos. And they both stand up. He's got double underhooks, Joe. And under three minutes now to go on the round. Dos Santos gets tagged by that kick. That can't feel real good, Joe. Big straight left. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Rafael Dos Anjos. Front kick. RDA gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Going to the body there with the right kick. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Iaquinta just missing with that big right. Clean, hard shot to the head with that hook. Dos Anjos' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swing. Nice, very nicely done. Under a minute now. to the head. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. There's a kick to the body. Round two straight ahead. Here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. Three. Here we are, early round two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. He blocks the punch. Oh, big shot he's got right here. Back to the feet. Oh, oh, he was slamming down, down to the ground. Well done. Oh, look at that transition. Well, he's oh, he's got a lot of different arm bars he can go to attacking here. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. He pulled his arm out of it. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Trying to pass from half guard into side control. Can't make it. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. 
Just over three minutes to go in round two. to go. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Rafael Dos Anjos. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Well, he gets up again here, Joe, but he looks hurt. Changes his stance. Try to establish that jab. Dos Anjos is all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, he's yeah, shot to the head. He's, stunned. he's in trouble. Big he's body shot. shot. Back to the feet. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Iaquinta. That punch will work right through the door. Good defense there. RDA gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Pop, 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 pop. And that's the end of round number two. Man, what a great round there. One of the better rounds we've seen tonight. Both fighters landed knockdowns at some point. Might hold up in the conversation for round of the year. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. And here we see some excellent striking. Great lots of action in that round. Your round, you dominated that. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, so here we go. Third and final round. That one hurt. And he gets tagged. Nice combination, wow. Joe. Oh! This could be it right here. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Rafael Dos Anjos. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Dos Anjos' lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. RDA gets hit by that leg kick. These guys are exchanging huge shots. Oh! oh. He's got him right here. He tagged him again. accuracy on the right hand for the victory. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Let's see that again. Bang. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Let's go to Bruce Buffer Ladies inside the Octagon with the official decision. Call to stop for this contest. At one minute, 33 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rafael Dos Anjos. Well, a big win for the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos, here tonight. As good a pressure fighter as we have in this sport. And a lot of people wonder, when he moved up to the welterweight division, would the power go with him? The answer tonight, an emphatic yes. And I think now for RDA, you can really start to think about that welterweight title picture. I know he wanted to 